Hello and welcome to Channel's Book Club. I'm Olakunle Kasumo. We've got a full package for you today. Let's start with a good news. The Nigeria Copyright Commission has recently stepped up its efforts in tackling piracy. As you know, piracy is a deadly enemy of economic growth. The good news I mentioned is a positive result of the NCC's recent efforts. Listen to this. In a joint operation with Nigeria Customs Service, the Nigeria Copyright Commission impounded 20 million naira worth of pirated books shipped into Nigeria in a container. According to the Copyright Commission, the container was imported by a forwarding agent based in Lagos. It comprised of 672 cartons with different titles belonging to various publishers and was intercepted at tin can ports. The pirated titles were those of publishers like Macmillan, Pearson, Learn Africa, Specialty Books, and others. One of the things the pirates did was to also import pirated children's Bibles. The children's Bibles were used to conceal the other pirated books. The intelligence that led to the capture of the pirated materials was provided by operatives of the Nigeria Copyright Commission in collaboration with the Nigeria Publishers Association. The alarming thing is that books are now being used as cover-ups. Because there is zero duty on books, dubious importers now make false declarations to evade payment of duties and as a decoy to smuggle in prohibited goods. Following the successful operation, the Director General of the Nigeria Copyright Commission, Mr. John Assane, said, Copyright piracy remains a real threat to the nation as it destroys the creative industry and impoverishes its people. Kudos to the Nigeria Copyright Commission and the Nigeria Customs Service for working together to fight piracy. This is just a small victory. It's worth celebrating, but there is much more to do. Last year, I shared an experience I had buying a book published by Nigeria's former president, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan. The experience was all about piracy. Let's replay that for you. You must have heard of the new book just written and published by Nigeria's ex-president. Good luck, Ibele Jonathan. Now, check these two copies out. One of them is pirated and the other one is original. It's pretty difficult to know the difference. I was in traffic a few days back and I saw some book hawkers selling this, which is the pirated copy. So I then bought one for 2,500 Naira. It ranges from between 2,000 and 3,500 Naira, depending on how you negotiate with them. So here's a copy. Not because I read pirated copies, <laughs> I don't. But I was curious to know the difference between the pirated copy and the original. Now, the original I bought a few days after um, for 5,600 Naira. Again, depends on where um, you, you buy this. So, 5,600 Naira, original copy. Um, 2,500 Naira, pirated copy, which is selling like hot cake you know, on the streets. So, now, you can hardly know the difference unless you look very carefully. One is slightly longer than the other. The covers are almost the same, perhaps with the exception of a slight um, an outline right there on the pirated copy. Um, the original one does not have much of that, you can see here. Okay. Now, when you flip through the pages, you now see some significant differences. For example, the pictures in here, the photos in here are colored. Um, so here's a colored picture inside. But in the pirated copy, the pictures in there are black and white. Um, let me check out one example here. OK, so here we go. So this is black, black and white. So the pictures in the original are colored. The pictures in the pirated copies are black and white. But the texts are basically the same. Now, a lot of Nigerians buy pirated copies because they are cheaper, um, they, they are more, they are easily accessible, they are on the streets. 
But the original copies, you find them in bookshops, you find them with this book distributors, and so on. There is no way any modern economy can grow when there's piracy. Piracy is a major problem in Nigeria right now. It's a problem we have to tackle. And the, the former president spoke about this um, some days back when he complained after his book. The pirated copies came out just about two days or a day after his book was launched. Now, imagine the number of writers and authors who are not as privileged as our ex-presidents, you know, who live on their writings and their books, who suffer. They suffer serious losses due to piracy. Um, we had an author here on the show some days back, who, some weeks back, who said he lost close to about 20 million based on piracy. Imagine that. So we need to stop this. It has to stop. If you drive past those who sell this on the roads, do not buy from them. It's, it, it doesn't matter if they are cheaper. It hurts our country when we buy pirated copies. And it's something we need to deal with. One of these days, we are going to do an extensive, have an extensive session on how destructive piracy is on the Nigerian economy. You may think it doesn't concern you because you are not a writer or the author or the publisher, but these things have a boomerang effect on the entire economy. So, original pirated, cost more to buy the original, but please go for the original. Not just for this book, but for every book out there. Let's tackle piracy.